Great Rizzy, we out here right now. Benny Boom's in the building. We out here with these hip-hop hits. We also out here with this new movie, man. Tasmanian Devil is out there right now. Make sure you go out there and check it out because it's a movie. If you have family who are in Greek life or collegiate life, your religion, immigrant, you, 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 there's just so many different things that it's going to touch on and I feel like you're going to feel it. But you mentioned that um, not only yourself, but the director, your your alphas like did this bring you back like the, was there a part there's parts of this movie i remember i was talking to sarita shout out to sarita over at sjo where it, it jogged memories for me you know what i'm saying of older cousins who are you know alphas or you know they might be cappers and i'm just like wow man this mm -hmm. this life it, right here very authentic this is this i, I remember <laughs> right here, there were there were moments i gotta be honest um editorially where I felt like, because, uh, you know, I pledged in spring 91, right? So I also pledged solo. So my oh, experience wow. was very different than a lot of mm -hmm. experiences. So um, the one thing, so here's the thing. The one thing about filmmaking is in order to make a good film, I don't care what it is, you have to be honest about the material that you're making, right? So that's what sort of separates, I think, like, good filmmakers from great filmmakers. And so because he wrote this film and directed it, everything in it is an honest point of view. And when I say honest, I don't mean necessarily um, real, like point for point, but the approach is honest. So when you look at the film and there's hazing scenes in the film, um, it feels very real to those that have gone through that process. You know what I mean? Because he approached it from an honest point of view. And so when I first saw it, yeah, it definitely took me back to a place <laughs> that, that, you know, my 19 year old self would never want to go back to. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. But it, and I think it'll do that for a lot of people. I mean, also, I mean, the bigger component of the film, to be honest, was um, the father son relationship. And that's what drove me to really want to get this done is because it wasn't just about pledging, everybody didn't pledge. It wasn't about black colleges. It wasn't about school. It really was about that family dynamic and how many of us, especially as black men, tend to seek out uh, other, other ways of family when at home ain't working. So in this case, for, for, for Abraham, for Dio, Dio, Abraham's a real actor, but Dio's the character, for Dio, it was fraternity, but for many of us that grew up in the inner cities, it's gang life, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And so you tend to seek out that which will accept you. Mm -hmm. And that's really what this film is about. It's really about acceptance and trying to balance um, what, you know, your home life with the world. You know, this right. guy, he's a fish out of water. It's his first time in America. And he has no idea what he's getting himself into but he knows home is not what he wants. The, the relationship with his dad isn't what he wants. And so when he meets the brothers of Taz, he says, those guys, although they're not like me, they can understand me and I wanna be like them. Yeah, there, there's a scene and I don't wanna give away anything, but there is a uh, a bumping of heads before they start to uh, you know go and start um, pledging and he's the one who actually saves one of the other guys. It was just funny. You, you definitely got to check out the movie. I don't want to give up the uh, any any tidbits that's going to make it, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. But I do want to switch gears real quick. I want to talk about music. Do you remember how many videos you, that you've done? Do you, do you have like a running total in your mind that you know? I, I have a total. I want to say it's around 300. Whew, something like right. that. I've been direct. Yeah, I've been directing 20 years. And so... Um, 21 years now. And so before I was, before I directed, I was an assistant director for Pipe Williams and Paul Hunter, Little X, Dave Myers, you know, all those guys, I was the, their AD. So mm -hmm. I came up, you know, came up under them until I got my first shot in 2000. So um, yeah, it's about 300 now. 
Well, let me ask you, first of all, before I ask you the question, let me just say this. You've done Meek Mill, I'm a Boss. That's like an anthem for everybody, right? And yeah. this is just three of the 300, all right, that he's done. But um, you've done LL Cool J, you know, yeah. who you can hear right here on Sirius XM on Rock the Bells Radio, Sirius XM Channel 43. You've also done No Frauds. We talked about yeah. your relationship with Cash Money and, of course, Young Money, where it's Nicki Minaj featuring Drake and Lil Wayne. Is there a video though that sticks out to you you know that you would say that is one of your favorites um you know it's funny i would say made you look by nas was probably one of my favorites and the reason it's not you know not necessarily about um the the, the video so to speak but it was what we did and you know this was in the height of the nas and jay-z sort mm -hmm. of beef, and um we did the video on, on a shoestring budget. Uh, we had no permits. So we literally, the night before or two days before, I had to make all these phone calls all over New York City. If people remember it, it sort of was like, you know, we had staged it as Nas's victory lap around the city after his battle with, with Jay-Z. And, um, you know, I made all these calls. Like, you know, I was, I was editing a video I had done with Fat Joe the night before and I said, you know, uh, and everybody in New York calls Nas son, right? Like when you say, yo, someone, and they kind of know who it is, right? When, in that in that industry at the time. So I told him we wanted to shoot in the Bronx. And he said, oh, y'all got to go through me. I'm like, I know. So we, you know, so where can we shoot? So we go up uh, to where Big Pun had his mural and we shot, shot there. Um, we went up to Harlem. The Harlem was like an interesting place because we really didn't have quote unquote permission. We just had a few people that kind of ran Rucker Park in terms of the basketball of it all and, and they set it up, but we didn't have like real street permission to be in Harlem. So that was a very interesting, interesting thing. And then I lived in Brooklyn. So we had, you know, I lived on two, two blocks over from, from St. James in Fulton at the time. So, you know, we had um, all the Big East folks was out there, Nino and C's and everybody. So you know, we celebrated out there. I want to say that was the last look of the video. So the reason I love it so much is because it really was like an anthem to not just that, but it was an anthem to hip hop. It was an anthem, a visual anthem to New York City and to hip hop and stuff like that. And, um, you know, we just did it, man. I felt like a film student doing that video. We had like, we had no budget. We had, we were carrying a camera in a, in a van. We had two vans that we had equipment and we're jumping out and shooting, jumping back in and all that stuff. It was, it was great. It was a great experience. What a time to be alive, Benny. This, this yeah. is like, this, that, that has to be like one of my favorite points and shout out to Greg. He's no longer with us, but of course he was over at the Rucker and I'm pretty sure he probably yeah. was yeah. like, yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, <laughs> What not it not it not you know 2021 2020 has been so crazy so we haven't seen this just yet mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna rule it out because if anybody is qualified for a video versus it would be you it would be you <laughs> Benny Boom but who would who would be qualified who would you want to be matched up against because it seems like now you know that's people are picking who they want to get matched up against so yeah. who video wise like who would you want to be across the aisle from so it's funny you say that we did we there was several so there's a um action live series was started by uh, a friend of mine who's an assistant director his name is ev haitian ev is his name and kareem johnson and angel rodriguez they all came together and started an action live series where it was um directors battling this was happening right as versus was going on during the during the pandemic so they had like, um, I think Colin Tilly was against somebody and it was all these. So um, Eve Rivera and I went against each other on it. And it was it was exciting for me because, I, you know, I've known Eve for a long for a while. And um, he him and I talked when he first started getting in the game. I think I spoke to him and then a few years had passed and I saw him like grow and grow. And he you know, he challenged me. He was like, yo, I want to do my my, my battle against. Benny Boom, I was like, bet. I'm like, but bro, you got all the new artists. I got all the, you know what I'm saying? All the <laughs> right. But it, but, but it was cool because, you know, we went there and we sat and it was just like the verses in terms of, um, you know, it was the respect. And that's, right. that's the reason why we came together. If we had to do it like, you know, something like that on that platform, 
with Swiss and Timbaland. I would love to do it. Um, you know, it'd be hard for me because like X, I would never go against X. X is like the GOAT to me. He's also my brother and I also was my, my AD. Like we worked so literally, our office was next to each other. It was a wall separating us, you know, um, mm -hmm. and that was it. Um, but I've seen stuff on social media like Benny Boom versus Hype and I'm like, that's not fair to me, that's hype, you know? So it's, mm -hmm. so it's interesting, it's, you know, there's people out there, um, I let, I'd like to let the, the people decide. I agree. I, I think when the people decide, then, you know, it's a matchup that everybody wants to see. Everybody For everybody that's, see. that's listening, when he says X, he's not talking about DMX, he's talking about Little X. Little X yeah, yeah. Well, look, I want to get to some music. I mean, I got so many damn videos to choose from, Benny. I, I'm going to play something. Is there, is there a song you want to play right now that stands out to you video-wise uh, that you directed? Um, yeah, uh, Bees in the Trap. Ooh, Nicki Minaj, Bees in the Trap. Nicki. Yeah, that was the first one with me and her. We had done a couple of jobs where she was on the record, but wasn't her video. And that was, you know, um, that was a video that I did for her. I turned it around in 24 hours. I'd gotten the call and gotten the music. And I was I was home in New York. And then uh, within the next afternoon, I was on a flight to Miami and shot the next day. So um, yeah, and that sort of stat re, that started the whole thing, uh, the, the relationship with me and Nikki, and you know, got started right from there. So that was the first video um, that we did, and then we did several others together after that. So bees in the trap, two chains, yeah. Well, let's get to that. And you know, Nicki Minaj, we're honoring her for Black History Month up here on Hip Hop Nation. So let's turn go. this the hell up. Pop them little bitch ass speakers you got in your cars. Great, Rizzy. We out here with Benny Boom, Hip Hop Nation. Oh. 